y'all, we are going to be talking about the absolute best makeup, skincare, scents, beauty products that I have tried this year. I am 99.9% .9 sure that all of these products launched this year. Let's jump into it. <music> I have pulled from my collection some of the best products that have launched this year. I say some of because I did try to pare this down a little bit. I went through, I pulled all the things I thought were the best, and then I was like, okay, too much, too much. Really simplify it, Heather. So I tried to kick some things out. These are the things that remained. I am fairly certain that all of these things launched in 2023. I did not include anything that like was not new this year, but that was new to me. I tried to really just keep it on 2023 products. There's still a lot. Okay. What can I say? But let's just get started. I don't have a product for every category, but I do actually have two primers that I want to talk about. So one is the one size secure the sweat dry till dawn primer. Okay. Like you can see with this packaging, I've been using this. Okay. I bought this and I'm a person who sweats very much. I do not sweat much at all. And I was still curious about this product because it sounded like something that would be not just for sweat, but maybe good for my oily skin. If you're new here, hey, my name is Heather. I'm 36 and I have oily skin, not combo oily, not oily in some areas, not a little oily, oily skin and I live in a humid place. It is humid all the time. So my oil is coming from my skin trying to tear the makeup apart and then the humidity is coming from the outside trying to tear my makeup apart. So I thought, let me try this. Let me try it. Let me try it. One size. I seem to get along with a lot of their products. So I thought, let me try it. And I really liked it. It does have like this ingredient scent where I'm like, okay, I don't think they added fragrance to this because I smell the ingredients. It doesn't smell like bad. Like it doesn't smell like it's gone bad or anything like that, but it has this, we didn't add fragrance to it type of scent. It's so good. Like what this does is it kind of smooths everything out for makeup but it definitely extends the wear of my makeup. I tested this when I went to Disney with my family in April. So, you know, I live in a humid place. I live somewhere that's kind of the same temperatures and humidity and all of that where Disney is. But I'm like, let me test this because babes, we are at the park all day, all day day with my husband and my son. I'm talking like I need the makeup to be lasting like 16 to 18 hours. Did I touch up with powder a single time? No, I did not. This primer, this primer is so good. And I also have to say for a different reason, I am loving the Glow Recipe Strawberry BHA Pore Smooth Blur Drops, Pore Refining Blurring Serum. So this I love for a different reason, okay? This primer keeps me more matte. This primer extends the wear of my makeup longer. They both do some of the same things. They both kind of blur, they both prep the skin for makeup, but this one's gonna keep me more matte. This one is gonna make my makeup last longer. So if I'm gonna have my makeup on, I would say like a normal amount of time, 10 to 12 to 14 hours, this one's gonna keep me a little more mattified. It's gonna blur my pores just a little bit more. This one right here, the one size, is going to be for those days where, like I said, we're outside. We're outside. It's hot and I need the makeup to stay 
around. That's what this is for. So I picked these two. I didn't make myself only pick one because I'm like, I love both of these. This one you cannot see, but I can see when I like hold it up to the light because it's not clear, but I, when I hold it up to light, I can see. And I am like down to here. This is good. This is the one I chose to wear today. It definitely does give me that like pore smoothing effect, a little mattifying. It does not wear weird under makeup. The makeup just goes on beautifully on top and it has those like skincare ingredients, right? So it's got, it's got some skin loving things in there and I'm really enjoying it. Let's talk about the one that took me by surprise. I bought this like hoping I would like it, not expecting to love it like I do. I am shocked. This is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint because listen, hydrate, smooth, correct. This is a light coverage, hydrating skin tint. And on the Sephora site, it says it has a radiant finish. I think this has a glowy skin-like finish, okay? I do pair it with more mattifying powders. I do pair it with the mattifying primers, but I wanted a skin tint. I'm sorry, I have a hair, like I can feel a hair on my face. Okay, let's see if I cannot like totally lose my train of thought. I bought this because I wanted a skin tint and I'm like, you know, I hear so many good things about Danessa Myrick's products. Let me just buy this one and see what I think about it. They had some really good undertones. I'm in the shade nine. It has an olive undertone, which I love. I am a olive warm leaning. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just try it. Let me just try it. And I wore this and I was like, oh, I really like it. I wore this and I'm like, oh, I really like it. And I found myself wearing it more and more and more. I am wearing it today. I like a light coverage skin tint. I really love my Fenty Ease Drop. They have a little more coverage than this one and they're definitely mattifying and more long wear. This one, I would say around the eight hour mark of having it on, I take my little blotting papers and I do kind of blot, but it's just so pretty. And when I went to Disney again. I, who am I? Like I have not been to Disney in 10 years and I went to Disney twice this year. In September, I went with some of my friends. I have a whole video on that if you want to see it, but I knew like we weren't going to be getting all glam for the parks, right? But I'm like, let me take a skin tint. This is so pretty. Like this was so pretty and it was hot outside, of course, you know, but like it was so pretty on the skin and I just find myself reaching for it when, like I said, I don't want to look matte. I don't want coverage. I just, I'm like, you know what? Maybe I don't want a lot that day or like today where I'm like, oh, my skin is looking nice. Like I just want a little light coverage tint. This is there. It says it's a radiant finish. I don't feel like it's super radiant. When I put it on, it's definitely glowy, but it's not that greasy glowy. Now again, it's not gonna last 16 hours looking perfect. I definitely blot around the eight hour mark. After I blot, it's not like my face is eating the makeup off. It's lasting, it's sticking around. I'm still having that light coverage, just kind of like to even out the skin tone, you know? Okay, I found a favorite concealer this year. This is definitely in like, maybe my top two favorite concealers of all time. I have four shades, yes. I know that makes me sound like I am not in the right state of mind, but I bought these and I regret nothing. This is the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. This is a, medium to full coverage concealer that my oily skin does not eat away. It has a natural matte finish. It's not glowy. It's not radiant. It's not flat matte. It's just very skin-like on me. I am 36, so I do have, especially when I smile, some little lines under my eyes. And I don't love a ton of concealers. I like 
concealers but when I find a love I find a love so I bought my winter shade my summer shade and every shade in between so today I'm actually wearing YN9 I love this concealer I like the packaging if you watched my worst makeup of the year, you will see I also bought another luxury concealer and the packaging was so terrible, like low quality for the price point. So I like the formula. I like the packaging. It, it It's going to look beautiful. In fact, when I went to Vegas recently, I just wore this concealer several times. Like I kind of used it like kind of like a foundation because I'm like, I don't really want to do foundation and concealer. I don't feel like I need all that. So I'm just going to kind of like put my concealer on and buff it out. And it was beautiful. It was beautiful, like all over the face. It's beautiful. Like I have it today kind of under the eyes and to brighten here. It's good. It's expensive but it's good. This one, I don't want to spend too much time talking about. It is the one size powder. It is not a new powder to launch this year, but this year they came out with new shades and I got the shade Sweet Honey. It's what I use to set my face today and I love it. It definitely gives me that blurred pore look. It mattifies. It is a mattifying powder. If you do not want a mattifying powder, the one size is not for you, but previously I was using the translucent shade and I really do love it, but I'm so happy that they came out with some that have a little bit of a tint because I do like powders that don't have a lot of color. Like I'm not looking to get coverage, but I do find that the Sweet Honey shade works a little bit better for me than the translucent. When I am like fully into winter, when I'm at my most light in skin tone I will use the translucent but I was so excited they launched a new shade this year okay so before we get into some of the other things I just like let, listen let me just go ahead and say of course I love my unearthly collaboration okay I collaborated with unearthly cosmetics this year in May we launched our full resurgence collection so I won't spend too much time talking about it obviously it is my favorite like this is my name on all these products like I worked so long <laughs> I worked so long on these with unearthly it is everything I wanted it to be so I do have my omen gloss those are beetles uh, this one's almost empty <laughs> this one is almost empty the gloss and the highlighter come in the full bundle always linked below actually everything I talk about today I will link down below for you in the description box I also have my highlighter duo that works for all skin tones you can see it not only on me but on a deep skin model a light skin model on their website so these are multi chrome highlighters that have a transparent base so like I said they may look intimidating in the pan, but they work on all skin tones because of that transparent base. So of course that's a favorite. These come in the bundle set and then the palette comes in the set or individually. So of course, of course I love my palette, my like holographic beetles in the night. I have a whole video explaining this. I have a playlist like countless tutorials using this and this is the matte and satin shadows that I have on my eyes today. I am wearing Cosmology Beetle and Life from my palette today and I had to talk about it like I had to talk about it right <laughs> but I am gonna have a whole separate video ranking all the eyeshadow palettes that I tried this year so I'm not gonna talk about eyeshadow palettes in this video because I'm gonna do a separate video I'm gonna do a separate video just with them where I talk about the good the bad the ugly the amazing the favorite you know we're gonna rank them all um but I, I wanted, I did want to talk about that. I did have to talk about that. I also have to say that my Adept Cosmetics palette that I had last year with Adept restocked. And I'm super excited about that. Super excited that Adept not only kept my 
palette around for a year, but then decided to bring it back. So super thankful for that. I want to talk though about two palettes that are all multi-chrome, all special shade palettes. Okay. I thought it's kind of hard to fit these in with other palettes and a ranking, but these are favorites. But how do I, for me, all shimmer palettes are like companion palettes, all sparkle palettes. They, they're, they're companions to my more matte shadows. And that's kind of how I use these today. So instead of putting these with my palette ranking, I wanted to talk about them in my favorites. And I just let myself pick two, but these were the two standouts. So first is the Adept Cosmetics Seahorse Palette. First of all, this beautiful ombre packaging. And then opening it up, we have all these beautiful special shades. I do have a whole video on this one because I know it can be hard to tell what I'm talking about when I say multi-chrome special shades, and it just looks kind of normal shimmers on video when you're looking at it dead on like this, but I'm actually wearing this palette on my eyes combined with my resurgent palette today. So this is what you see on the lid and on the inner corner. These shadows are so beautiful. Adept Cosmetics, of course, a favorite for me. I love their eyeshadows. I love their formulas. I love their quality. I love their packaging. Like everything you can love, I love. So when I saw that they were doing the seahorse and it was going to be all these light pastel mid-tone type of colors, I was really excited because I'm like, okay, this is perfect for me to mix and match with my mattes because I love using like dark mattes in the outer corner like I have today, dark, and then having some brightness like right in here. This is going to be perfect. It's everything I hoped for. It's everything I need. Like it's everything I love. I love the packaging. I love the big mirror. And we have those beautiful formulas from Adept. So I've been using this one a ton. I just realized I had something on my teeth. So if that's been bothering you, I don't know how long it's been there. I do apologize. I do apologize. The other all shimmer multi-chrome, really all multi-chrome palette that I want to talk about is the Cleona Deep Sea Treasures. I love Cleona shadows. The singles they launched this year, also favorites. Like I love Cleona shadows and I just really appreciated that they put together a curated eight pan of new multi-chromes. I, I really like that. It takes the like think work out of picking out because my first Cleona order, I remember like I was looking at all the swatches. I was making a list. I was checking it twice. I was like Santa. Okay. I was making sure I had what I needed on restock days. <laughs> and I really like that they just have this bundle together, new shades. I like the theming that they did kind of deep sea treasures like this ocean theme. Again, I do have a full video on this. Cleona makes gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous multi-chromes. And there are some different multi-chrome formulas in here. Some more smooth, some more sparkly, but all very shifty. I really, I've been a fan of the brand for so long and I think they did some of their best work on that eight pan. I also wanted to mention these loose pigments. This year I have really had fun with loose pigments, creating looks with them, using them on the eyes, using them on the body, using them like on the face as highlighter. I just, I've really kind of like fallen back in love with loose pigments like this. These from Inslee Rain are so good. I just pulled three out of my drawer. I have a ton and I have tons of videos on like Inslee Rain loose pigments, but these are duochrome and multi-chrome loose pigments. I love, like I said, using them on the face and body just with a fluffy brush and kind of like letting them shine, using them on the eyes with a glitter glue underneath or spraying my brush or wetting my brush. Just, I don't know. I feel like they've kind of like given me like this breath of life into like creativity and stuff with makeup. It's for me, for me, if you're new here, makeup is not about looking better. Right now, no makeup, nothing. 
if you, if you feel your worst, you still are a 10 out of 10, okay? With makeup, 10 out of 10. Without makeup, 10 out of 10. Like, you don't need to look better. For me, makeup is about fun, creativity, like expression. And I feel like with the pigments, I've had a lot of fun just with that creativity. Like it's given me another fun aspect to makeup. So I've really been enjoying these. So I definitely wanted to highlight these from Inslee Rain because they have so many beautiful ones. I want to say I started off, I had bought four of theirs and I'm like done. I'm in love. Let's talk to before I move on from like eye and fun things. Of course, my bestie, Aniela Kanikvis, collabed with Odin's Eye. She did two palettes, lip products. I love those. Of course, they are a favorite. Of course, they are a favorite. But she started her own brush brand. So I have to talk about Singe Beauty brushes. These launched at the beginning of this year. I bought three sets because I'm obsessed, okay? I had to I had to give them to family members. I have to have my own. I'm holding up three for you right now, but let me pull. I'm like, I've got my dirty, like, 2B wash cup in front of me. I've got these right here. I love my singe brushes. I've been using them all year, washing them, using them, traveling with them. They hold up amazing. She recently launched face rushes. I used them to get ready to get today too. So of course they're dirty, but those just launched. The eye brushes though, I've been using all year and I am beyond obsessed. She has done such a good job. Listen, hear me now. Even if we were not friends, they are good brushes. But of course, I always like to let you know when I do have a friendship and I'm, I'm not going to put any like creator collaborations in here because I love them all. Like, of course, my friend Amanda collabed on a palette, Betty Jean, Allie, like Lauren May. I, so many awesome collaborations this year, but I, you know, Maybe we'll do a video just talking about collaborations. Let me know if you would like to see that. Let's talk about some face products though. Let's 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 kind of move on to, to to more face products. So I have to mention these Dior blushes. I have been a fan of the Dior Rosy Glow blush for so long, and we've only ever had pink and coral. And that's great, because I love those shades. But I'm like, give us more, give us more, give us more. I could not wait to give Dior my money for their shade expansion. So we have the Rosy Gold Blushes. We have Mahogany. This shade, I feel like it's going to be really on trend for 2024. I think we're going to see this type of blush color, this more like brown undertone. I think we're going to see, I think we're going to see this a lot. Uh, we have Cherry. I love a red blush. The shade I'm wearing today, Rosewood. And then Berry. I love the Dior Rosy Glow Blush Formula. You cannot convince me that it deserves any less hype than it gets. It is worth the hype. They're so good. They don't fade. I feel like when I use my Dior blushes, I can never underdo it or overdo it. Like it's always just perfect. Also in blushes, I have to talk about the Sigma Cream blushes. These are so good. I don't love when I get a cream or liquid blush and I put it on and it's so sheer that I can't see it. And I'm like, where is it? Like, I'm uh, like, look, look at me. I'm a medium skin tone. So when I put on a sheer blush and I can't see it, it's definitely not going to work for anybody, my skin tone or deeper. And I hate to sit there and just layer and layer and layer a cream or liquid. It's not working for me. So when I got the Sigma cream blushes, I'm like, please don't disappear on my oily skin. Please don't break up the foundation underneath and please have some pigment so I don't have to da 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 until I have this cakey mess on my cheek just to get a little payoff. And the Sigma said, we got you. Like they had me. These blushes are so pretty and they really did a good job with the shades too. Let me show you because like, I, I under, 
understand, you know, you're like, but I don't want a super pigmented blush. Okay, cool. Like Sigma has this, Corderosa, it's still pigmented. Like I put it on and I can see it, but it is in a lighter shade or you can go for Nearly Wild, which is definitely a deeper shade. Beautiful though. I can wear all the shades they have. My personal favorite is Nearly Wild. I just think it has this beautiful something something you know to the tone but we also have a more pinky color pashmina and then we have this beautiful coral shade called coral dawn so i've just i mean like you see you can see these aren't clean in the pan like i've been using them with my sponge with a brush uh, under powder is my personal favorite but if i forget to put one on and i put it on on top of my powder it doesn't break things up. It stays looking good. We love, we love those Sigma blushes. And then we'll kind of transition. So those, the Dugor blushes, the Sigma blushes, I have several highlights though that I have to talk about, okay? Don't judge me because these are the ones that made the cut, okay? I had even more in my little basket, but these are the ones that I'm like, no, I cannot cut these. This is like a blush highlighter hybrid. So we'll talk about these first. These are the Say Glow Sculpts. So this is Pink Glow. It is this beautiful, mm, it's like a highlighter, but it has this pinky undertone to it. And then this one right here is the shade Mauve Glow. I keep saying I want all the shades. So you see, this is like a mauve copper. These are like, these are blush highlight in one for me. They have this beautiful sheen to the skin. They are like a cream, not a cream to powder, but almost. They're not a straight up cream like the Sigma blushes, but they're not a powder either. They're just so beautiful. I have videos featuring all of these products here on my channel. So if you want to see them in action, I've got you. I upload so much. So I have got everything in a video, but the formula of these is so beautiful. I know when I buy something and I'm like, hey, now I need more. That's when you know it's good. Like one was not enough. One was not enough. And still like on my loves list, I, I, want, I need the rest of the shades for real. This is the Ketracel White Palette from Adept. Adept? If you can hear me, please, please, more of this cream highlighter formula. So I'm not a big cream highlight or liquid highlight type of girl. I love a cream blush. I love a liquid blush. I love a cream bronzer. But I, I think a lot of brands have a hard time when it comes to that liquid to cream highlight. I normally prefer a powder. When I tried these two like multi-chrome creams, Shut the front door, shut the windows, shut the back door, shut the car door, shut, listen, good. Doesn't fade, isn't sticky or tacky. Under powder, over powder, it's gonna work and it's going to give me this like, I am a woodland fairy living in a mushroom type of look. Like I just look unreal. It's so beautiful. We have these two beautiful powders too. I do have a whole video on this palette, but you can mix them. You can use them individually. It doesn't matter. Can, can I please, can I please have more of this highlight formula though? We have this one that's kind of like more warm. This one that's more cool in tone. I want all the tones, all the colors, everything in that formula. I don't know if this palette is still around. It may be limited edition, but I will also say when I was pulling products, I didn't say like, Oh, you can't get it anymore, so I don't want to talk about it. I'm, I'm letting you know my favorites. The highlight I have on today, oh, it's a holographic type of highlight. So I have these like multicolored sparkles on my cheeks that give me this like look in the light that I'm obsessed with. I'm obsessed. This is the Bella Beauté Bar Basic Witch Highlighter. I had to have this. I had to have this. I ordered this with a quickness because I'm like, listen, I know this is going to sell out. When Bella Beauté Bar started showing this on Instagram, I'm like, 
I have a feeling this is gonna sell out and it did but I believe they have restocked it now but I'm, I bought it on launch day I had to I had to it is a holographic highlighter that goes from like this white pinky silver I don't know like I cannot describe it it has an indescribable quality it has this almost like purple that I'm like no is it peachy but I have it on today it speaks for itself uh yeah and I love it's it's called basic witch and <laughs> we love that Two more highlighters, leave me alone. I told you these are the ones that made the cut, okay? Like, I know I have a lot to talk about. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the Ghost Face Glam Light. I love the whole collection. I love Ghost Face. It's me and my son's comfort movie. We love it. Watch it all the time. The original Scream, okay? We love it. Okay, so Ghost Face, I'm like, I'm down. Like, I could not wait. This highlighter duo though so stood out to me. Uh, there you go. You can see the knife. You can see ghost face. We have a nice big mirror in here. This is two different highlighter formulas that I love both of. This one, they're both, they're both beautiful. This one down here, less sparkle, a little more like Ah, uh, like just glow, but like glow to the next level. Whereas this one up here has a sparkle. I like a sparkle personally because I, it gives me the wet look to the cheek. And that's kind of what I'm going for. Like mermaid just came up out of the bog or something. I don't know. I like a little bit of sparkle. This one doesn't really have the sparkle, but this one does. So this one up here, if I had to rank them, this would be number one, you know, but I love them both. I love them both. They give me what they need to give me. Like when I put them on, I'm like, please, Mr. Ghostface, don't kill me. I want to be in the sequel. You know, it's giving the vibe and I love it. <sighs> so good. Listen, one more highlighter, one more. Let me have one more. This is this is was like the, the most unexpected favorite of the year okay maybe this and the Danessa Myricks were probably like the most unexpected this is the Too Faced Moon Crush out of this world highlighter I have the shade Shooting Star so they do have one more shade deeper than this first of all the packaging is really nice for Too Faced and then opening it up it says Moon Crush and it has stars and moons printed in it. We have a nice mirror. The compact feels nice and heavy. This highlighter from Too Faced feels like it could be double the price. Like you could tell me, this is Pat McGrath. This is Natasha Denona. Like this could be some fancy brand that I am not rich enough to have ever heard of. It's beautiful. I can go in with this and get this what? I don't have highlighter on. My skin's just this perfect and glowy. What? Like I can get that lit from within look or I can go in with a little bit more and have that. I want aliens to see me and rescue me from this planet as they pass by. I can get both with this highlighter. It's so good. I was thinking that was going to be nice when I bought it, but I did not know it was going to be a favorite. Let's talk about lips. I have some lip products to talk about. First up, the Unearthly <laughs> Lip Liners. I love these Unearthly Lip Liners. Let me kind of line these up for you though. These are so, like, at a great price point. I was shocked, but like, do you see which one is my favorite? Carnage. I'm wearing it today to line my lips. These are at such a great price point. They remind me very much of MAC, of the ABH wooden pencils, the one size wooden pencils at a fraction of a cost, unearthly. Please give us more shades. We do have really good shades already. We have a purple, we have the shade I'm wearing, we have a red, we have like three different shades of brown, one that's more warm, one that's more cool, one that's very light. We have a black. If you need a black lip liner, Unearthly has you. 
they have you in a great pencil that doesn't slip and slide around, that doesn't tug to put it on, and last. We love that. The other product I'm wearing paired with that today are these lip stains from Fenty. So I'm loving lip stains. I predict that we will see more lip stains in the future. These launched earlier this year. I'm also really enjoying the ones from Clarins and we've already seen several drugstore brands launching lip stains as well. So I don't see that slowing down. These from Fenty are so good. These are in their like limited edition summer type packaging and I'm here for it. I love a limited edition packaging like if you have a theme, I'm already interested, you know? So these are like, what are they actually called? The Pout Sickle Hydrating Lip Stain. So I have the shades Jim and I and Fuchsia Wife. I'm actually wearing both of them today. I just decided to mix them. So when you put these on, they look very glossy, very beautiful. And then they wear down to a beautiful stain. I love that. I love a stain that stains the lips without drying them out because have you ever put on a lip stain that one it doesn't stain and you're like what was that or two it does stain but it dries your lips out so bad that you're like have i ever had a drink of water in my life i don't think so my lips look terrible not these like they go on glossy beautiful and they wear down to a gorgeous stain we love i have a few glosses i mean like i said earlier obviously I love my gloss, I love my highlighter, but I wanted to talk about some others, okay? Some others. This was another category where I forced myself to pare down and then I was like, okay, choose your favorite shades out of these. Last year, I talked about the Maracuja Juicy Lips. I'm still loving those. I just bought the new Shimmer ones, loving. But I love a lip gloss. I'm a gloss type of girl and I only let myself pick three. I cut the rest. I wish I didn't have to. Again, these are all ones that launched this year to the best of my knowledge. Okay, what I'm wearing today is the Milk Odyssey Lip Oil Gloss. It's exactly what it says. It is like a lip oil and a lip gloss fell in love. They had a baby and they made the Gloss Oil Hybrid. This is so good. I really like these. My favorite shade and the shade that I'm wearing today is the shade what are you globe trot it looks blue it's blue <laughs> it's blue what can i say it has this pearly like it's it's got a transparentness about it but it is definitely blue and purple sparkle and it gave me what i wanted it to give me i like the other shades as well i love the formula i mainly wanted to highlight the formula but i'm like listen heather if we're doing favorites not only are you going to pick your favorite, you're also going to pick your favorite shade. So that's what we got going on. I also want to talk about the Isamaya glosses. I believe this gloss launched last year, but this shade came out this year and I tried it this year. So it made the cut. First of all, packaging we love. This is the Isamaya Lip Lac 2.0 and I have the shade Metal. I was skeptical of Isamaya Beauty. I'm like, is it up to the height? It is. Like, what can I say? It is. This is a luxury gloss, but it gives luxury on the lips. It is beautiful. It is glossy without being sticky, without being goopy, without feeling thick, without feeling like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to take this off. It's insanely beautiful. And how it looks in the tube, that sparkle, you get it on the lips. I love that. I hate in fact, if you watch my worst of the year video, I talked about a gloss in there that looks so shimmery, sparkly in the tube and it's nothing on the lips. So I love that that one does what it's supposed to do. I also pulled one of these from Kaleidos. This was Kaleidos best launch of the year. This is the Untamed Glow Glossy Lip Glaze. It's a lip gloss, but it feels a little bit thinner than a traditional lip gloss. Very comfortable on the lips, very beautiful. I really like this packaging. I like all of the shades, but I think my favorite has to be Penthouse. It does have a slight shimmer to it. I like sparkle on the lips, what can I say? But if you don't like sparkle, the Milk and the Kaleidos, you can get those without sparkle. And I enjoy those as well, but if I'm talking about favorites, I gotta go with the sparkle. Let's talk about 
a little bit of skincare. I won't spend too much time on it because I feel like skincare is so personal. Again, I'm 36. I have oily skin. I'm living in a humid place. This is the first year that I have ever been extremely consistent with my tetranoin use. I use this every night. So I have used this in the past and I have seen good results, but I have never consistently used it. I would usually take a break when I went on vacation or summertime or anything like that because you have to be extremely careful when you're using tetranoin. This is like prescription, by the way. You gotta have a prescription for it. It's not like a retinol that you buy over the counter. So you have to be very careful or you can like severely get a sunburn that will like damage your skin. And I'm always just like, I'm, I'm too worried about it. Let me just stop, let me just stop. But this year I really committed to wearing hats, making sure not only was I wearing my SPF, but I was like on it to reapply all of that when I was like out of doors because it's it's like I said you gotta be you gotta be careful against the sun when you're using this so this was the first year that I really committed I'm like okay I'm gonna use it I'm gonna work my way up I started using it twice a week then three times a week then four times and my skin went through the stages you all saw the sloughing off of layers but I am now getting the skin that I want and it just listen I still get some breakouts okay it's just I, I have breakout prone skin it happens sometimes if I use a new makeup product that has the wrong ingredients in it like I, I know what breaks me out so I will break out if I'm not doing right you know but overall I have not had as many breakouts my skin the texture is changing it's the MVP it's the MVP and I have to say it goes hand in hand with my next favorite because I have other skincare products I've loved this year and I could definitely talk about those but I wanted to really pare it down and talk about like what has made the biggest difference in my skin but also with that I did go through that like everybody well your skin is getting some dry patches it's sloughing off all of that and you have to moisturize with your retinol I will say I neglect that I don't know if you're like this but when I am mentally feeling stressed I am down I can definitely neglect that self-care time and I would never neglect the tetranoin but I would neglect everything else and I would be like well I'm not doing anything else I just did that that's the bare minimum but I have to have a moisturizer, okay? I have to have a moisturizer with it. This is the Ola Henriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer with peptides, ceramides, vegan collagen. Let me show you, okay? Can you see like how much of that I've used? This is not for the day use for me, okay? This is not even really for all overuse unless I am feeling like, oh, my skin is going through it. I neglected my skin for like three nights in a row. I did not moisturize with my tetranoin and I'm peeling and my skin needs some hydration. Then I will put this on light layer all over the face. But what I typically do is put this in the areas where I'm feeling like I do need that hydration at night, never in the day. It is way too heavy for me for in the day, but at night it is perfect. So I will put it around my eyes like an eye cream. If I feel like I'm getting dry just in one spot, like maybe here on my chin or maybe here, I'll kind of use it like almost like a spot moisturizer because my whole face doesn't always need this much like healing. Ceramide's such a good ingredient. I love the ceramides from Glow Recipe. I just ran out. I have another one on its way to me. Those I love too, but this is giving that moisture. So I wanted a spot like that. And then I want to quickly, quickly, I know I keep saying quickly and then I ramble forever, but I want to talk about some fragrances. Killian Smoking Hot. This is ah, so good. This is a smoky scent. And sometimes smoky scents, they don't work, but this is so 
seductive. It toes the line of what maybe you would classify things as like traditionally masculine, traditionally feminine. I tend to really like scents like that. This is hookah, tobacco, and I think bourbon were the notes. I'm trying to remember. It smells so good and a little goes a long way. Can you see how much of this I've used? Killing Off fragrances are expensive. Okay, they're expensive. So I have the travel size and I will repurchase when I use this up. I bought this when it launched and no regrets. Like it's so good. This is what I wore when I went to the Glam Light Halloween party. Like when I'm out, if I'm going to something at night and I want to smell good, it's a date night scent. Like it's so good. Fleur Tangerine Boy, exactly like what it says, tangerines. When I smell this, it's, it's elevated though. It's like I have this basket and I've been picking tangerines and oranges and lemons. And I know there are other like notes to it as well. Again, I'm not looking up the descriptions. I'm just trying to like go off of what I smell, what I remember, because it smells like sunshine and citrus to me. And when I smell it, I feel like summer. And I love that. I love that I can just, uh, I just, it, it feels like it smells tangerine. I can smell that. Or maybe like I'm making, like chopping up citrus fruits and I just have that like scent going in the air. It's just so, uh, it's so, every time I smell it, it's just so good. It is tangerine. If you do not like that citrusy scent, that one is not for you. But for me, I love it. Fleur father figure. Okay. I let myself choose four. I could have choose more, choose more. I could have chosen more scents, but I was like, just listen, four is the limit. Father figure is again, it's right almost crossing that line into what we would consider like more masculine. Anybody can wear whatever scent they want, but I know traditionally when we smell certain things, we think feminine, certain things we think masculine, wear what you want to wear. Listen, I've shown you two scents that lean pretty much towards that masculine line. This one, it's a very green, earthy, but that masculine leaning, scent to it that makes it kind of romantic, sultry. I feel hot when I wear this. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Like I feel like, oh, I smell good. It is, it, it's definitely earthy. Like it smells like it smells like maybe I am a fortune teller in the woods or something like that. I don't know. It's just, mm. but if you do not like scents that lean a little more masculine, you will not like that. Let's switch gears and let me tell you about Gucci Flora Gorgeous Magnolia. They have several different versions of Gucci Flora. I feel like it's kind of confusing. So they used to have like a Magnolia, but it's not the same one. It's not the same one. This one is new this year. Last year they had Jasmine. The one before that I think is Gardenia. I love them all. They are floral scents. This is Magnolia. And when I saw that sold, okay, like listen, it's so good and it is floral. It's floral. To me, this is not floral in a overwhelming inside way. I don't really love scents that have rose in them. I tend to stay away from that. So if that is your type of scent, you probably will not be feeling the scents that I'm feeling. The, this to me, and what I like about this type of floral is this makes me feel 
sunshine on my skin, I'm instantly transported like into my parents' backyard with their massive magnolia tree. I'm, I'm like laying in the grass, I'm feeling the sunshine on my skin and I'm smelling the magnolia as the wind blows through the trees. Like that is what this is to me. And it's not just magnolia, like there's other things in there with it that like elevate the scent. Let's see, magnolia, dewberries, and patchouli. That's what it is. I'm like, it says, it says on the back. So let me just read you because I'm like, what, what are the other things that are in there that I'm smelling? But it's got that magnolia like heart to it, like that magnolia that always comes through that like, I don't know. I feel myself in the scent, if that makes sense. I feel secure. I don't know. Like, like I said, it just, it makes me think of like my grandmother's house, my parents' house. They both had these massive magnolia trees in their yard that we would climb and I love it. And it's, it's an outside type of floral. Like you smell it on the wind, not a these flowers have been cut and placed in a vase type of scent, which I love. I know that was a lot of favorites. I know I'm probably going to go about the rest of my day and tomorrow be like, oh, I can't believe I forgot to talk about that. I can't believe I forgot to talk about that. But I did my best, y'all. I did my best. I hope that you enjoyed it. I would love to know. What were your favorites this year? If you had a favorite skincare product, a favorite hair product, a favorite fragrance, a favorite makeup product, if you, like anything favorite, maybe you don't do skincare, hair care, fragrance, makeup, but you enjoyed this video, I would love to hear like, what was your favorite this year? Did you have a favorite food that you filmed this year? Did you have a favorite book? Did you have like, just share your favorites with me. I love to hear from y'all. Give me some recommendations. I hope whatever you're doing though, you are having an amazing day. I really appreciate you being here. I appreciate you watching and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye. Thank you.